hello viewers it's Charles again and now we are back to QuickBooks 2016 we are walking through module 3 and we have been talking about how to customize the QuickBooks environment what I want to talk to you about really quick in this video is the fact that QuickBooks has several sample files available that way if you forget how to do something or you just want to see how the transaction is set you can always look at one of these sample files let's head over to QuickBooks and I will show you how and where you would find these sample files so we can first of all first close this because where we find these files is in a place where you look at when you first log into quickbooks when you first log or when you first open quickbooks you have the ability to open an existing file so let me first close this off so this is where we log we, we log in from so when you first open quickbooks you have the ability to open an existing file from here this is where we open an existing file from this point we have the ability of opening one of the sample files we can open a sample file from here there are two sample files that we can look at here if you click this drop down arrow it will give you two two options and those are two sample files one is a product based business this is what we call the product based business which is a land a, a landscaping company and the second one is the sample service based business it is a sample file for a service based business but i'm going to open the business the product best business so when i click on this so let me open that it will take some time to load now when you open one of the sample files quickbooks might bring for you a dialog box where you're supposed to click to click yes there are some there are some quickbooks versions that when you click when you open the sample file for the first time it brings it will bring for you a dialog box and that dialog box it will be asking you to either click yes to continue or no and you, from there you are supposed to click yes to continue and when you are done with that then the second dialog box that is going to come in is quickbooks is going to be telling you that today's date is set out in future this is the dialog box that i'm talking about where the quickbooks will, will set the today's date as for this version it it was set on 15th december 2020 remember this is quickbooks version 2016 so for us to have a start date of the same of 15th december 2020 it means it was set in the future so that's the implication if you open quickbooks version 2022 you'll find that it's going to be projecting a longer period maybe 2025 and something so that's what I'm meaning. So from this dialog box, we have to click OK for us to be able to open that file. 
and it's going to take some time to to open up so it has opened up maybe you can maximize this so that we can have a full page view of the home screen so we are now okay we have launched our company file this is a sample company file but this sample file is used for practice in other words it's used when you are learning quickbooks but you can't use you can't use it for like you can't create a company the same company that we are seeing here with the same names and you do everything that is in in the same aspect this one is mainly used for study purposes it is going to be helping you to know how certain things are going to be done so in other versions when it opens like this you may receive a miscellaneous window or screen that might pop up it may be showing here or something too it will be having some boxes that are having yellow others are having what but those are they normally happen when you are opening it for the first time so and those yellow boxes sometimes they show what is in uni quickbooks because you may be open like for example you are opening 20, quickbooks 2016 if we are already in 2024 and you are opening QuickBooks version of 2016, it will show you those yellow boxes sh showing you the recent improvement or the recent versions that are, the recent, the, rec the recent things that are new in that version or that are still, that are new in the newer versions. And after closing those windows, you will be able to look at your home screen like just like what we are seeing now so one of the things that we looked at we, we, we looked at over in video number four and video number five of this module was how to set up charts of accounts i want i want to to, to look at the charts of accounts of this same company so we can just go to the charts of accounts. Those are the charts of accounts for this company. Those are the charts of accounts as we are seeing. So we can just see how these charts of accounts were developed and we compare with what we did. We had talked about bank accounts. You can see there are three bank accounts here. We have the checking account. There are three bank accounts. Of course, we look at account type here. We have the bank account. This one is a bank account. This one is also a bank account. There are three. There is a checking account, a savings account, and a pet cash account. So these lightning lightning bolts you are seeing here there are these lightning bolts they are yellow in color these bolts they indicate that that was set up to do online banking so we can also see our accounts receivable these are our accounts receivable we are seeing the total ninety three thousand dollars we have and 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 by the way if, if 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 you double click in those accounts receivable line this line out item of accounts receivable if you double click in it you will be able to see you are going to see the details of any invoices that you, that you have created that are still open or that are not yet the customers they haven't sub submitted the money to us because accounts receivables we say those are the debtors the people we sold goods on credit 
you will see there are several asset accounts we can close off this because we are seeing they have they are very many here we can close off this we we are seeing we have different asset accounts that have been set up we are we have got the accounts payables because we have these are current uh, current uh, assets these are fixed assets and the other assets of course we come to accounts payables these are the accounts payable account and those are the suppliers that we haven't cleared their money or the one that supplied us on credit so if you double click into that if you double click into this accounts payable we will be seeing all the bills that we have entered but we haven't yet paid so if you double click in that you will be seeing those different suppliers with their respective bills amount we are seeing the amounts this one is demanding us this money we've paid this is demanding us this this one we haven't paid any penny so those are some of the things that we are we are able to see from that account C accounts payable so we can close off this so we've got some credit cards there are three and we said whenever you see this yellow board it shows that that has been set up to do online banking we shall look at online banking when we go to the banking section of quickbooks so there are several liabilities liabilities we have these current current liabilities we have those long-term liabilities that as you are seeing them there are several current liabilities even the long-term liabilities they are there they are men as you can see them so when we look down the list we are also seeing some equity accounts we are also seeing equity here they start from here those are equity up to this point so when we look at down to the list you will be also seeing the income accounts some income accounts are there we are also seeing cost of goods sold they are here we are also seeing expense account now the expense accounts they make the the, the, the ones it, it is they are the ones of the largest grouping and that's the largest grouping in quickbooks is expense accounts so if you are not sure of how to set up some of these sub accounts like we spoke about sub account like the way you look at automobile here it has these sub accounts of fuel because it is these automobiles that are consuming fuel that are consuming insurance that are going for repair and maintenance so they are put the, the the service cost is automobile but under automobile we are paying so many issues or so many expenses that are related to automobile so that's the meaning if you don't know actually how to set up some of them you can actually check to see how they set those up so so you can you can check all the charts of accounts and you'll be able to see what you want to set up so this is really a very great way to make sure you have everything set up correctly before you actually get started using quickbooks it is very important to set those accounts correctly because we know that it's those accounts that we've set up that we are going to be using in doing all the transactions now that you are you know how to access those sample files let's go head over to video number seven and we are going to be talking about one last thing and that's called company search company file search and that is the file company file search option 
and we see how that works and how it's going to be help, helping us to save time. So we'll see you in the next video.